Hey everybody, A here with Anything Goes With A. Today we're back with another video. I apologize for the long break. Um, it's been about a month since my last upload. I've had some uh, kind of exciting recent um, life and uh, career updates and developments happening lately um, that have had me kind of take a step back and um, rearrange my focus and I just haven't had a lot of time to work on or put out any videos lately. Um, but I'm kind of getting into a groove and having an opportunity to um, to get back at it. I've definitely been missing it. I've been missing um, the interaction with all of you, whether this is uh, the first video of mine that you're seeing or um, maybe you've been a subscriber. Thank you so much for watching. Today, as you can tell by the title and thumbnail, we are talking about a pair of Tecovis boots. Um, they're the Dean in the bourbon calf, um, calf skin. Uh, color and uh, material and we're going to be going ahead and doing um, basically just an unboxing showing you kind of just first impressions and just what they look like out of the box. I have unboxed these already. I received these back for Christmas and just haven't gotten around to making a video for them um, but I really only wore them once. They are my first pair of um, basically cowboy boots. Um, just kind of as a general disclaimer, if you're here because you're looking for a pair of cowboy boots and want my, my thoughts on them, I've never owned cowboy boots. I'm not doing any kind of work in them um, that they might be made for or might be traditionally used for. So my opinion on these is purely going to be um, based on the way that they look. Um, and, and, and that's pretty much it. So if you're looking for anything further than that, um, this video won't be a ton of help to you, but if you want to see how they look, what the unboxing experience is like, then definitely go ahead and stick around. Um, as usual, we're going to be going ahead and giving a little bit of background on the shoes, uh, the boots rather, and the company Tecovis, um, do going ahead and doing the unboxing and then wrapping up with final thoughts. So we're going to go ahead and roll the intro and we'll get started. Thanks. All right. Hey guys, it's a, we're in post right now, as you can see different setting and I just wanted to say since we filmed the video we're at 41 subscribers now which is awesome last time I did a little subscriber announcement was at the beginning of the year we're double what we were then which is super awesome I really appreciate your guys' support um, whether you're subscribed or not thanks so much for watching my videos sorry for making this video even longer than it already is but I just wanted to go ahead and take a moment to thank you guys So first things first, we are going to be talking about the company Tecovis and then a little bit about the Dean boots. So um, Tecovis is a Western wear company. Uh, they ship out of Dallas, Texas. Um, all of their um, items say that they are designed in Austin, Texas. And I know at least their boots, I'm not sure what else, um, are handmade in Leon, Mexico. So um, basically right off the bat, they're all very upfront about where everything is coming from where everything is handled. Um, they pride themselves on high quality and craftsmanship from their individuals um, down in Leon. Um, from what I've seen, the boots are incredibly well made. The quality seems really impressive. Um, like I said in my intro, I haven't had any other cowboy boots or Western boots like this before, so I really can't compare them, but just um, on their own, the leather really does seem top notch. All of the um, stitching and um, kind of production of them seems really impressive and they seem very high quality. So um, I definitely um, believe them. It seems like the individuals that they have uh, making the boots down in Leon, Mexico are holding themselves to a very high standard and that the quality is definitely there. Um, as far as I know, the most up-to-date information on the site, um, so they are sold online through the Tecovis website. They do have some brick and mortar retail stores um, in certain states. I know that they have some in Texas, um, Nebraska, just to name a couple. There are a few other ones. You can find those all online. As of right now, their shipping policies are just to the lower 48. They do not ship currently to Alaska, Hawaii, or internationally. It says that they do have plans for that in the works, but at this time, um, which is February 2021, they do not have any plans to do so, um, or, or they, they don't currently have any um, any infrastructure for it at the exact moment, but it looks like they do have plans to do so, excuse me. Um, the boots themselves retail for $255 US dollars. 
Um, like I said, they are made from calf skin. They have an eight inch shaft, um, which um, basically I'm just pulling straight off the website. As far as I'm aware, it's just the, um, the length of the um, kind of the, the portion of the boot that goes up onto your ankle and then up onto your leg. Um, it is a pretty slim and narrow shaft, so you are able to wear them. Um, you could probably under, wear them under a pair of slim cut jeans. I am wearing straight cut um, just for the try on. You'll be able to see how they fit and everything. Um, so just kind of as a disclaimer, I'm wearing straight cut jeans currently, and you'll see how they look along with those. Um, they do feature a zipper on the side and in a one and quarter inch heel. They come in a total of three colors, the bourbon calfskin, which is the color that I have and will be showing you, a midnight calfskin, so the, a, a black color, and then natural calfskin, um, which is less of a rich um, brown. It's more of a uh, muted, so somewhere between a brown and a tan. So um, we're gonna go ahead and get down, um, usually get down under the table just because of the size of this box. We'll probably be going ahead and getting down onto the floor, um, giving you a unboxing of the boot and then finally a, uh, a bit of a try on just so you can see how they look on my feet and then giving you some of our final thoughts. All right, so we're down here on the floor for the unboxing. Here is the Tacovis box. Um, we'll just go ahead and give a bit of a tour of the box itself. Here on the front, it says Tacovis fine boot makers. Um, it looks like you've got here a little bit of a landscape, some clouds, and then some mountains or rocks down below. On the underside here, um, we have high quality Western boots, Tacovis, tacovis.com. Um, locally designed in Austin, Texas, handmade and, or excuse me, handcrafted in Leon, Mexico. Um, so that's what you got on the underside of the box. On the side here, we have Tecovis once again, um, and then just the sticker for the shoe itself, Tecovis the Dean Men's once again. Um, so, so this is going to be a uh, nine and a half with a regular width. Um, I generally wear a 10, um, but size down a half size um, just to get a, a bit better of a fit. Um, here we have the quality approved sticker. Um, the bourbon calf brown is the color, which you're going to be seeing here in just a moment. On the other side here, they just kind of like the top um, say um, handmade boots, Tecovis, Austin, Texas quality materials, fine craftsmanship. Um, and then on the underside here, Tecovis once again, um, and then once again, fine boot makers with kind of the same um, landscape on the box. So we're gonna go ahead and get this cracked open here. Oh, and then uh, one thing I did fail to mention is on the top here, we do have a bit of a handle um, and it says Tecovis um, embossed onto the uh, onto the plastic there. Um, so that is another feature of the box. So here we'll go ahead and open the box on up. And what we're greeted with here on the inside of the flap, um, let's make sure that you can see this. Let's see here. I'm trying to figure a good way to show this off. There we go. Um, so here we have kind of a, um, a design of Texas here um, at the top here. I know you can't quite see it. Um, it says handmade, high quality Western boots to Covis, um, Austin, Texas, built with care in Leon, Mexico. Sorry, that's a little bit of a weird shot there, but um, I didn't really an anticipate how that was going to, how that was all going to work out. So let's make sure we got these centered here. Um, we're just gonna talk about everything that came in the box. So um, here we just had a small um, Tecovis tag. Um, yeah, it just says Tecovis on like a, a hard stock or um, it almost feels like, like, balsam, like balsa wood or like a thin pine or something like that, um, just on a little rope. Um, here we have a Tecovis envelope um, inside of here. We'll go ahead and pull this on out. There we go. We have here the care guide. Um, basically, it just talks about the care guide for the boots um, and, and what to do and how to, how to care for them and handle them. On this card here, we have the refund and exchange information. Um, on the back side, it is just the order details and order number, so we'll spare you the details there. Um, included in mine was a Tacovis koozie. I'm not sure if this was a holiday promotion um, or anything like that, but 
it did include um, this this kind of green koozie um, on each side it says to orange stitching and then on the underside um, it does have this t logo on it which seems to be their logo this was on the outside of the shipping box as well um, so this was included in there i thought that was a neat little throw in i'm not sure if that's always included or not but that was included in mine um, here we have the wrapping paper um, and it says designed in Texas, um, Austin, Texas, Tecovis, handmade in Leon, Mexico. Um, really big on their branding as far as that goes. Um, so we'll go ahead and open that on up. And then here we have the boots. Each boot comes individually wrapped in its own bag. Um, so we'll go ahead and get these pulled on out. We'll get the box out of the way. so that we can get a bit of a better look here at the boots themselves. Um, so what we've got here, um, like I said, they're individually wrapped in their own bags and um, basically just to, just to protect them. On the top here, they say Tecovis, um, have some more information about them and just this little, uh, this little holder. So we're gonna go ahead and slide that on out, reach down in, and remove the boot from the bag. And right here we have um, we have the boot itself. So um, it has pull tabs here on the outside. It does not have it on the inside, um, but it does have this pull tab here. Um, on the underside here, you can find, you'll, you'll see a little bit of scuffing. Um, we have Tecovis on the underside, um, as well as the T on the heel. Um, just like because of like I had said I have worn these out once and then on the side here we do have the um, the zipper so we'll go ahead and unzip this when you go ahead and open these on up they do have a piece of um, basically just a piece of paper to help make sure that they hold their form while they are shipping to you on the inside I am not sure how easy it's going to be for you to see this here um, but it says to Covis and then include some sizing information um, and, and, and all that. On the inside of the boot, let's see here. Down on the bottom there, it says to Covis embossed into the sole. Um, so there they have their branding again. And we'll go ahead and get these both unboxed or excuse me, unwrapped so that you can see them both side by side. Um, I think that this brown, this brown color is just incredibly rich. It looks really nice. Um, I thought it was a really nice deep color. Um, as a side note, I have not conditioned these yet or anything. So these may darken depending on the type of conditioner that you use. Um, but yeah, I thought that they were a super rich color. I haven't had a lot of opportunity to wear these out yet just because of where I live. Um, I'm worried about how the cold may affect them. So I'm waiting until it warms up a little bit. Um, to, uh, to get these out for a bit more proper wear. Um, they do have a, a leather sole, so that's one of the other reasons, just to avoid getting them excessively wet or anything like that. But here they are side by side. We'll just go ahead and kind of give you a quick look around them and show you everything um, kind of as best as we can here. So here's one side, the backs of the boots, and then the other side. And then next thing, we're gonna go ahead and cut to uh, a, a clip here of me putting these on, just so you can see how these look on foot um, with a pair of jeans. So we're gonna go ahead and do that next. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and show you here real quick how these boots look um, on, my, on my feet and how they look worn. Um, I am wearing a relatively thin sock. It might even be considered a dress sock, just um, for frame of reference with my fit. Um, as I mentioned before, these are a nine and a half in regular width. Um, I generally do wear a regular width, so that wasn't any different, but I generally do wear a size 10. Um, so a, a thin sock is best for me um, with this size. So go ahead and slip on the other boot. As I had mentioned before, these are a straight leg um, pair of jeans. Um, just as far as sizing and fit and how they look um, on these um, with these jeans. I think that they look really great. Um, you could certainly get away, I'm sure, with wearing a pair of slim 
cut, um, maybe skinny jeans, I'm not sure. Um, but if you wanted to wear these comfortably um, with, with a pair of boots, I would probably rec recommend going with a straight or potentially even a slim cut. Um, yeah, you can see how they look with skinny, but I don't think that they would probably lay over them super well. So here's a look at them, um, just kind of all the way around here. I'll go ahead and show you the back as well, just so you can see how they look all the way. Um, they are super comfortable. They are a round, um, a round toe. Um, but yeah, here's a, here's a look at them. As I mentioned before, they are an eight inch, um, they have an eight inch shaft. So um, just so you can see kind of where they hit on my leg and come up to, so that kind of my, my ankle bone is right about here. So another four or five inches up from there is where the top of the boot hits. Um, we'll go ahead and pull these up here. They do have a bit of a V cut at the front of them on the front and same on the back. Um, a bit of a design here, a little bit of a leather design on the tops of the boots. Um, they are pretty, um, they're, they're not terribly polished or anything like that right now. I actually, I, I quite like the way that they look. Um, they have a slightly darkened um, brown on the toe here. I'm not sure how well you can see that just because I have so much direct light on them right now. Um, but yeah, this is how they look. Nothing, um, no terribly big wrinkles or anything like that. Like I said, I've only worn them out once. So um, just to give you an idea and a look of how they, how they look on foot. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and cut now to final remarks and we'll go ahead and wrap up the video. All right, now that we're back up from the unboxing, I'm just gonna give you some of my final thoughts, final remarks. Like I mentioned earlier, the boots do seem like they are um, very well made, very high quality. Um, the quality standards that they hold themselves to certainly show, um, and, and I've been very impressed with it. Um, as far as the sizing goes, um, the size that I ordered was a nine and a half regular width. Um, I generally wear a US 10, um, but I ended up ordering a size down. I initially had a 10 and it seemed like there were little, there was a little bit of excessive heel slip. I spoke with an individual at Tecovas and they um, kind of guided me towards getting a nine and a half, just going a half size down, which seemed to work very well for me. They have a super forgiving um, return and exchange policy. So if you have any issues with the boots that you order, um, they, I believe they call it their square deal. They are very, um, they're very willing to work with you. Um, I was able to talk to somebody, I think the day after Christmas or a couple days after Christmas on a Sunday, um, and they had individuals in the store on their or at least on their phone lines, um, helping with and, and, and handling exchanges. So um, there's definitely somebody that's gonna be willing to work with you if you're not entirely happy with the boot that you receive or the item you receive, um, they'll make sure that you're able to uh, become satisfied. So um, they were really great as far as all that goes. Um, I, the price, um, uh, $255, like I said, I, this is my first pair of Western wear boots, so I'm not sure how well that ranks. Based on their quality, I anticipated something that a, a pair of boots that I'm gonna have for a long time, so um, it does seem like a well worth it to me. Um, but compared to other brands, I'm not sure exactly how that stacks up. Um, the fit of them, um, they're pretty comfortable straight out of the box. Um, I'm not sure how uh, breaking in generally works with Western wear. They're slightly, slightly, slightly snug. Um, but based off of what I spoke to the rep about, they said that you want them to be a tiny, tiny bit snug and that they will um, kind of um, match your feet over time. The leather will um, kind of wear and um, break in and will fit your foot um, a little bit better over time. So that's not something that I'm terribly concerned about um, as of right now, but these are really just, like I said, my first impression. So um, that's my thoughts about the Dean boots from Tecovis. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your uh, your viewership. Definitely leave any thoughts. If you've purchased any products for Tecovis or if you have any questions for me about the boots that I have, definitely go ahead and leave them down in the comment box below. Hopefully it won't be too long before my next video. Maybe a new watch video. We'll have to see if you have any suggestions or um, any ideas. Certainly go ahead and leave them below. If you're interested in subscribing, you can certainly do so. And my Instagram handle will be at the end of the video. If you want to follow me over there for video alerts or anything, once again, this has been Anything Goes With A. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.